Hi everyone, it's Emilia here. Welcome to another video for Lemon Craft. In this video I'm going to make two cards out of one uh, paper, 12x12, 12 12 paper Dream Day 02. It's uh, blue on one side and flowery on the other side. And I'm going to do two cards. So the, for the first card I'm going to choose the flowery paper on the bottom and the blue on the top and the other one uh, opposite so blue paper on the top uh, on the bottom and flowery on the top but before I will stick uh, anything on I'm going to die cut the leaves from from the bottom uh, layer from the first layer I do it very often as I think it's a great way of uh, using that bottom layer which uh, it won't be seen at all as I'm going to stick on another layer on top of it. My card is 11 and a half by 16 and a half centimeters. The first layer is 11 by 16 centimeters and the second layer 10.2 by 15.2 centimeters. I also have added the uh, machine stitches on top layers, but it's not necessary. And I'm going to cut out some uh, elements from the sheet Vintage Time 008, uh, especially clocks, butterflies and flower arrangements. I have few uh, strips left from that 12x12 uh, 12 12 paper and I'm going to use them to create uh, under the flowers arrangements uh, three pieces on the right card and only one bigger pieces on, on the other side and I'm going to stick them on um, together with the cheesecloth first I'm just stretching it so it looks a little bit damaged I like when it's stretched and uh, uh, distress basically so I'm sticking uh, the, the cheesecloth and the strips the cheesecloth will not be seen uh, much later, but I do like when there is a texture under the flower composition. I like lots of elements, that's why um, even you cannot see it whole later, you know, it is, you can see it here and there and this is uh, what I think gives a nice romantic look to the card. And as you can see, I do not stick the cheesecloth uh, very flat. I just ruffle it a little bit, so uh, so it gives us additional dimension. And also, I'm using the foam pads for the mm, top layer, and also secure it with a little bit of hot glue. I am pushing up a little bit the edges of the paper and tear here and there. To create the distress uh, look and before I create my flower composition I also want to create some uh, embossed flowers so what I'm going to do I'm stamping the mm, flowers with the white ink uh, you can use embossing ink on the vellum and I'm going to emboss it in white you could emboss it in uh, any other maybe pastel colors light pink or mint but I do uh, like white and I think these elements uh, looks great on the card so I'm going to use a few later and these flowers are great because they got really uh, nice and easy uh, shape to cut out you don't need to use dyes for them so I'm going to create my flower compositions now I have chosen few chipboards from Scrapping It to add to my card, one frame and uh, some leaves and branches. And before I stick it on, I'm going to ink uh, the edges with the brown ink. And then uh, the frame actually will not work uh, as a frame on my card, it will be like a decorative element and the other element uh, too. So I will stick the frame first. Then I'm going to uh, play with those elements which I got around me and I will stick the flower almost last. So I started with the clock as you can see and those flowers. It's easier for me to start with the big elements and then add uh, the smaller elements around or underneath. And uh, I will not stick the blue flower yet as I'm going to 
um, push some leaves and the other elements underneath it and then uh, I will stick it uh, almost last. It's difficult when you will stick the flower on it's difficult to to add any, anything underneath uh, or around even because uh, some elements as you can see are bigger that's why um, and that's why I want to create the texture underneath the flower first. I hope you will get the idea and uh, maybe it will help you when you create your card. So I'm sticking some leaves on and my card will be almost finished. I will add uh, lots of glitter at the end but also I want to add one um, button from the lemon craft and I and you can see on the right there is like a bottle cup and I'm going to stick the button inside it first and then stick it on the clock on my card and uh, I have both those um, uh, bottle cups on eBay if I will find the link I'm going to add it below the video and after a while I realized that the uh, buttons from Lemoncraft are perfect size for for the bottle cups and I think it looks really nice together so I'm going to stick that on, on the clock and I will start uh, embellishing the other card so very similar here I will start with the uh, elements underneath the flower and uh, what I wanted to say here uh, as well that very often I do not have an idea for the card I'm not sure what I will create how I work is that I take the paper or I take embellishments and I try to work around it so maybe I like the paper and I will choose choose it first and then choose embellishments which will match the paper and then I'm trying to create with something I've got on the table not very often is like that I've got specific idea and I know what I want very often is just a, a surprise even for me so even if you do not what I wanted to say that even if you do not have an idea you can take out some elements and play with them and see what you can uh, come with oh, uh, sometimes some ladies tell me oh I cannot do it you know you are really great but I'm not and I wasn't great as well and I think the more I make the the better I am and I think it will work for everyone so uh, if you like to create just you know take the the stuff you've got and create something and you will see that after a few uh, cards you are getting better and better and you have more ideas and uh, definitely you um, you can uh, compose the card quicker and I'm sure you will see the difference your latest cards to your uh, older cards when I look for my on my old, old cards they are horrible <laughs> really they are so ugly I just I wish I never made them but I did and I had to uh, work really hard to you know to improve myself I was pushing myself to to do it more and more and uh, now I am pretty happy with this what I create but also it's not for me like always like oh wow I did great no I think I can still do better and better and I uh, hope uh, you will think uh, the same uh, about yourself Okay, back to the card. I sticked on a little bottle filled with the glitter. I also added a string around the top of the bottle and I uh, sticked on the string and the bottle. And now I'm adding the sentiments. There are just printed uh, sentiments with love. I'm adding the foam pad and also secure it with the hot glue. I also inked the edges uh, of the sentiment. And now I only will be adding the glitter, lots of glitter. I got the silver and white glitter and also dark brown glitter. So thank you very very much for staying with me. I hope I can inspire you to create your uh, own cards. And also uh, please visit Lemoncraft blog. They've got lots of beautiful inspirations. 
and uh, if you create similar cards I would love you to tag me on social media thank you very very uh, much I hope to see you very soon have a lovely creative uh, day bye bye